When will it happen for Scott Frost in Nebraska? Will it happen for Scott Frost in Nebraska? Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football. We are reviewing all the schedules in the Power Five. We've started our work in the Big Ten. Please check out all the videos. Leave your record projections and your thoughts on every team in the Big Ten. We're almost done with the Western Division. Check out the East as well. Nebraska's intriguing. Big Ten and national media predicted Nebraska to win the Big Ten Western Division in 2019. Following 4-8 in 2018 in Scott Frost's initial campaign, but a promising finish at 4-2 and in taking Ohio State and Iowa to the wire, one of the best teams in the country, and Iowa a legit top 25 team. It looked like Nebraska was ready to roll and at least improve significantly in challenge for the West in 2019. They did not. Disappointing at 5-7, and seven, just a one-game improvement, and uh, they won uh, four games in the Big Ten and lost uh, repeatedly on the road. Uh, I'm going to uh, put down below the road record for Scott Frost in his first two seasons at Nebraska, but they have not won a significant road game. I think they finally won one in the Big Ten against Illinois, um, like 42-38 last year, a decent, improved Illinois team. And that's been the big win for Nebraska on the road. Uh, I was thinking back to the Colorado game in which they led the Buffs 17 to nothing, were dominating that game and blew it and lost in overtime. And that pretty much summed up 2019 and got the team um, toward that downward slide that we saw throughout October and November. All right. For Scott Frost, after 4-8 and 5-7, and and this is what he's facing in 2020. Please like, comment, share the videos in social media. That helps us considerably. Please do that for us. And of course, subscribe to Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. When you subscribe, you guarantee when you turn on the bell for the notifications that you don't miss a live stream. We've got Florida State, Ohio State, and Miami exclusive live streams each and every week, plus call-in shows on Sunday night and on Friday, in addition to a number of other live streams that we present each and every week. All right, let's talk Huskers football. I love this op uh, opening weekend game against Purdue, this one at home in Lincoln. These two teams have played some very entertaining football against each other in recent years. Purdue at Nebraska will give a certain edge, obviously, to the winner in challenging Wisconsin and Iowa and Minnesota for the Big Ten Western Division. Then Nebraska takes on Central Michigan and South Dakota State. They Sure as heck better win those games. Then they've got an interesting date against uh, the Cincinnati Bearcats, the second or third best team in the group of five last year and the year before in winning double-digit games both seasons at 11-2 and two and 10-3. and three. So this is no guaranteed win. Toss-up factor for, uh, for Nebraska hosting Cincinnati in this one. That should be an intriguing matchup before... Nebraska gets back into Big Ten play. And like the Purdue matchup, this has been another under-the-radar entertaining series in the Big Ten. Northwestern and Nebraska play remarkably entertaining football. Games that go down to the wire, that are wild and wacky, come down to the final play and some interesting comebacks in this series. The Huskers go on the road to take on the Wildcats. You would expect Northwestern to be better than their 3-9 and nine finish and one win in the Big Ten last year. Illinois is a game. Of course, Nebraska needs to win at home. They go to Rutgers, so those that could get them on a bit of a run there in the Big Ten with Northwestern, Illinois, and Rutgers, three teams that they should handle and will be a favorite against, uh, you would think, before this closing stretch. I just gave it a look, just gave it a glance, and wow, it's daunting. The final five games of the season, Nebraska, take that in. In Columbus to take on Ohio State, a team that throttled Nebraska in Lincoln last year, of course. With currently no NBA, NHL, or Major League Baseball, you might think there's nothing to bet on. Well, you'd be wrong. Bet Online still has hundreds of places to wager, from their online casino to poker and blackjack, all open 24 hours a day and all online. Sports aren't totally done. There's still mixed martial arts, golf, eSports, XFL, and many more. And hey, what about American Idol? The elections, the spelling bee, and even the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. 
be sure to use promo code CLNS50. That's CLNS50 to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your very first deposit. Bet online, your full access wagering solution. Penn State at home. Interesting matchup. Will the Huskers be able to pull one off against the Nittany Lions at home, where they're a much different team? On the road against Iowa, uh, Big Ten fans will note that this game has been played on the final Friday of the season after Thanksgiving, and uh, the Big Ten uh, powers that be have put Iowa and Nebraska together since Nebraska joined the Big Ten on that final weekend to build and hype and establish the rivalry. Now they're tearing it up. So instead, Nebraska's uh, playing Iowa early in November. They're going to play Minnesota to conclude the season, while Iowa and Wisconsin will get together for what possibly could be a de facto Big Ten Western Division Championship the final weekend. But look at that. Ohio State, Penn State, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, the likely three best teams in the West and the two best teams in the East, likely a top three to four team in the nation, a top 10 team, a top 15 to 20 team. It certainly was last year in Iowa. Wisconsin, typically a top 10 to 15 team, maybe down a rung or two, but still substantial and the winners of the West. And then Minnesota, a team that throttled Nebraska last year, 34 to 7 in route to 11 wins. If Nebraska, they need to win all these Big Ten games leading into this stretch. That means wins over Purdue, Northwestern, Illinois, and Rutgers. Need to be 4-0 in the Big Ten. And then if they could steal one of those five games, and Nebraska fans may be thinking, we don't want to go 1-4 and four down the stretch. If you win one of those games, that will be an improvement. Think about this, Nebraska fans. You just want to get to a bowl game. You have not made a bowl game since, what, 2016? Three consecutive years without bowl games. So when people talk about when is Nebraska going to be back, I have people asking me, when is Nebraska going to be elite again? Forget elite. Get to a bowl game. Win that sixth game. Uh, make the Purdue, Northwestern, and Illinois teams automatic wins. That should be the next step. Then the next step after that would be seriously challenging Wisconsin and whoever the better teams are in the Big Ten Western Division for that given year, Minnesota, Northwestern, whomever it is for that given year. But challenge Wisconsin, that would be the next step. Win nine or ten games a year. And then beyond that, it would be once you can own the West show that you can challenge Ohio State or possibly a Penn State out of the Big Ten Eastern Division. Then there might be talk of being elite. But right now, Nebraska, get to a bowl game. Win some games on the road in the conference. But that final five games is as tough as anything that I've seen thus far, for sure. Ohio State, Penn State, Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota. I count basically a lot of uh, toss-up games. And again, the toss-up, Indicator is not necessarily a 50-50 toss-up. It's not. But if there's a reasonable chance of either team winning that game, then I consider it a toss-up. All right. For the Huskers, this is best case scenario, I believe. Best reasonable case scenario is that they win the four games in the Big Ten before this daunting stretch, and then they steal one. Maybe that's against Penn State. Maybe that's Minnesota at home to conclude the season. Sweep the non-conference, and that's going to be difficult considering Cincinnati's going to come into Lincoln ready to roll. Eight and four, five and four in the Big Ten is my record projection, which is an optimistic one right now for Nebraska. Final prediction in August. Need to get your record projection. Leave it down in the comments section and anything else you'd like to let me know about your thoughts on Nebraska, the Big Ten, and the nation. Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Like, comment, share the videos on our social media to keep us rolling. And please subscribe, and we will see you next time.